Jim, uh, uh, the, du- the double can- downgrade was so gratuitous. I mean, now you double downgrade them. I think Ford's got a great lineup. Right. I think GM's doing well. I think the Kathy Wood is the kiss of death. I thought the Coinbase call was embarrassing. The act is there was nothing wrong. I think GM's doing pretty well, but people don't want to own that stock going into recession. So, I mean, look, there's a lot of setups that are real bad, but let's deal with the setups that are not as bad. Uh, there's a lot of food and drug that's good. I know people don't want that, but that's working. Uh, and there's a lot of companies that have come down a great bit. Now, soon... Uh, I mean, if General Motors offered a dividend, which Mary Barr didn't want to do, I think people would be luck- reluctant to sell it here. But um, it really is true that uh, Kathy Wood is the kiss of death. And, you know, you don't usually don't want to say that, but I think you have to throw out at all the bromides and really speak truthfully here because the viewers deserve it. Um, Jim, she's awful. I, I've been asking because I, I you know, I get maybe I'm just looking for some silver lining uh, of some type, but. Do you ever remember a market bottom that's made before there's uh, a, an overall capitulation across all uh, indexes? I mean, is it possible that the individual leaders could have their own little, you know, where everyone just basically pukes up everything that they have? I mean, you look cool. at Netflix or, or even the, the big tech leaders. Aren't they down enough to make a real bottom individually? Or, well, or does I think it, that they're... You know, people just sell them because they're a source of funds. I mean, we've had bottoms that are caused by, say, uh, Warren Buffett coming in and buying. Uh, we saw that with Bank of America. Uh, we've had bottoms where they wiped out 330 new companies that came public between 1990 and 2000. So, I mean, there has to be more destruction. Uh, we had a bottom in, uh, you know, we had a 2018 bottom, but that was uh, with the S&P at, at 13 times earnings, where 16 to 17 times earnings. So, we're still a little too high, uh, but the panic's pretty thick. We have yeah. to find out how much systemic uh, systemic problems come from Tether. We don't know because the information has always been so sketchy. Uh, I mentioned Coinbase. I picked on them because they picked on Gary Gensler, which turned out to be a, you know, not a great thing to do. But, you know, look, look, I mean, are there things to buy? I think there are things to buy. It, it's just that I think that we have to watch the big me- mega cap uh, tech companies come in a little more. Uh, to where the point that their multiples are lower. And I think right. that this is a remultiplization. But when I look at, like, a Tether, I want to know how much is really in that. I've been complaining about Tether for months, and no one really cared. And then I stopped complaining about it because I, I thought I was a broken record. It, it turned out to be a pretty good record. 